Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today we are going to talk about how to move Windows 10 to a new computer with dissimilar hardware. We have two parts in this video. Part 1. What should I take into consideration when moving Windows 10? Part 2. How to move Windows 10 with Alme Backcover? Part 1. What should I take into consideration when moving Windows 10? The main advantage of moving Windows 10 to a new PC is that you don't need to reinstall anything. It may sound easy, but there are two important issues you should take into consideration. The first is the issue of different hardware types. When moving your Windows installation, the main issue you need to consider is the system driver. If the computers don't have identical hardware, you will encounter a move hard drive to new computer in Windows 10 won't boot error due to driver incompatibility. The second is the issue of different license types. Microsoft produces three types of Windows license key for users. There are OEM license, short for Original Equipment Manufacturer License, Retail License, and Volume License. If your license is OEM, you should know Microsoft doesn't allow you to move OEM copies of Windows to another computer. If you have managed to move your OEM license to another computer, you have to call Microsoft support to activate the license. Otherwise, you will get into move hard drive to new computer in Windows 10 not activated issue. If your license is retail or volume, Windows will automatically activate when you connect your new system to the internet. You should know that Microsoft only allows you to transfer your license once. So if you have transferred your license before, you will need to purchase a new license key from Microsoft. Part 2. How to move Windows 10 with Alme Backupper There is a powerful third-party software. You can Google Alme Backupper. Download and install it. With it, you can move Windows 10 to another hard drive without experiencing hardware or license issues. Next, I'm going to show you how to move Windows 10 to your new computer. The whole process is back up your Windows 10 in old computer and restore it to your new one. Let's get into the interface of Alme Backupper. The first step is Backup. Here if you want to move the system, you need to choose System Backup. Or if you want to move the whole disk, then choose Disk Backup. I'm going to move the whole disk as an example. First we connect an external hard drive to your computer. Here we add the source disk you want to backup. And choose your external hard drive to start the backup. Click Start Backup and wait until the process completed. Now we finished the first step. The second step is Restore. If your new computer can boot normally, you should create a bootable media on your old computer to boot your new one. After that, connect the bootable media and external hard drive to your new computer and get into the interface of Alme Backupper through your bootable media. Then, click Restore and click Select Image File to find the disk image on your external hard drive. It's an image file with ADI file extension. Now we choose Restore the entire disk and then click Next. Here, select the hard drive you want to move your Windows 10 to and then click Next. In the Operation Summary window, take a Universal Restore to ensure secure boot if your new computer has different hardware. Here, you can see Edit Partitions. You can click Edit Partitions to edit the size of partitions on the destination disk. And you can tick SSD Alignment if the storage device on the new computer is an SSD. You should enable this function to increase the read and write speeds of the SSD. Then, click Start Restore to restore Windows 10 to new computer. Now we just need to wait until the process is completed 100%. Now we successfully moved it. Go and boot your new computer to see if it can boot normally. With the help of Alme Backupper, you can easily move Windows 10 to new computer. Even the computer has different hardware and different license types. After the dissimilar hardware restore completed, to boot from the restored PC, 
you need to remove the bootable media and then restart your computer. Please note that if the restart PC contains more than one boot device, you may need to change the boot sequence in BIOS. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.